Chevy DIY. I got a 97 Chevrolet four-wheel drive 350. Had trouble putting the universal joints in these. Being the fact that what had happened is uh, my rear, my universal joint just exploded. It came out of the drive shaft, and I had nothing to go by. So about a couple of days, I peeled around this thing. I've got I put the wrong ones in it, and uh, and to save you that trouble, I'm going to uh, show you the part that we need. Now this is an aluminum drive shaft, and uh, this is the part number that you need. It's from O O Riley. It's a 355C. And that's the one you need. And what it is, uh, you got a caliper on the dry shaft end. Uh, on, the, on the dry shaft, shaft side, it's smaller. It's uh, it measures the uh, the cap that diameter is like a 1.06. And on the other end, where the axle is, the cog end, it's a uh, it's a 1.13. And then also. You'll notice too, you got little C clamps, a little C springs, uh, a little C, uh, I guess what you call them, little uh, slide in hooks. Where on the top of the drive shaft side, you got the ones that's press in on the top in, in a ring, in a groove. And on the other end, you got little C uh, slides that go in and hold it from left to right. So, Part 355C, and like I said, it's e it's not hard to do, but if you don't have the right parts, it's going to cost you a little bit of trouble. It cost me a, two or three times running to the store, finally got it figured out. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about down here. Okay. All right. So here we are. Here's the aluminum dry shaft. And here's the drive shaft in. You see how them compress in and hold in a groove? That's the side that's 1.06. This side is a, a 1.01, uh, I'm sorry, 1.13. 1 and 13, so this is a 106 on this end. So, and, I, and, the clip, and this clips go on here, and the clips can't go on the outside. There's no reason it goes. The clips go right in here and right in there. So I didn't know that because mine completely just exploded and went everywhere. So yeah, if you can replace them without them blowing out, then you know exactly what to do and what part it is. You can take it with you, but my problem is it exploded. All right, folks, part 355C. This is what you need. This is more or less a video to help the people that completely explode the universal joint and don't have anything to go by. Because if you can uh, fix it before it blows out, then you can just take your universal joint with you and no problem. This is for if you're just starting from scratch and don't have anything. Save you a lot of trouble. Alright, remember, keep Christ first in your life. Jesus loves you and I love you too. Thank you for watching my videos. God bless you.